The Isuzu MUX, it's an off-road capable seven-seater family four-wheel drive. Pricing starts from just under 50,000 Australian dollars and it's recently received a minor facelift to keep it in line within its competition. So that means this is a good alternative to things like the class-leading Ford Everest, Mitsubishi Pajero Sport and the Toyota Fortuna. And in this review, I am going to tell you everything you need to know about it. I'm gonna first run you through its model grades, the exterior design, interior features, see how practical it is, try out its technology and off-road modes, as well as take it for a drive. Welcome back to NB Media and Content. My name is Nick, and if you get value out of this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk about the MUX. There are three model grades to choose from, and the MUX is available with only one engine choice. And you've also got two drivetrains, 4x2 and 4x4. And lastly, you have eight color choices available. And today, this will be a detailed review of the LSU model grade, which was lent to me by Harrigan Isuzu Ute Mosfau. They are located in the Southern Highlands, and I've shared a link in the description below if you would like to get in contact with them. Let's now move on to the design of the MUX. So it's recently received a minor update, so that means you get a redesigned radiator grill at the front. And in terms of key features, you have underbody protection with dual recovery points, front LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights down the bottom. And if we move towards the side view of the MUX, it features 18 inch silver alloy wheels wrapped in these Bridgestone highway terrain tires. You also have aluminium side steps, roof rails and rear privacy glass on this third quarter. Let's now move on to the back of the MUX. So rear LED tail lights, well they're part LED tail lights at the back and this is fitted with a tow bar as this has a 3.5 tonne towing capacity and further down the bottom you have a full size spare tire. Let's now move on to the interior inside the MUX. So before you climb inside you have a remote key, keyless entry, push ignition start and remote engine start. So for example it's a hot day you want to run the air conditioning before you climb inside that is a very handy feature and once you're inside it feels very much like the Isuzu D-Max Ute it is based on and in terms of build quality you have soft touch materials on top of the dashboard soft padding on the armrest and some cloth trim on the doors it gets a bit durable in the center here and on the top of the doors here but this is based on a dual cab ute and it is the type of vehicle you will be either off-roading or transporting a family across the country so it still fits in within its competitors and to get comfortable behind the wheel, the steering offers both tilt and reach adjustment. And the seats can be adjusted in various different ways. They are manual on these cloth seats, but overall they are pretty comfortable for a long distance journey. And that brings me on to the infotainment. It all runs off this nine inch touchscreen display. It's fairly simple, nothing too complicated. And you do have physical buttons or you can just simply use the voice activation. You say a command after the beep tone. And in terms of key features for entertainment, you have AM, FM and digital radio, as well as full Bluetooth streaming, smartphone mirroring and wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. That plays out of an eight speaker sound system. And you've also got inbuilt satellite navigation. Again, very easy to use. And moving on to the safety, it has a reversing camera with parking guidelines, rear parking sensors, and a rear cross traffic alert. You've also got blind spot monitors on the wing mirrors and a lane keeping assistant. So that means the MUX has the ability to steer itself within its lane. And you've also got autonomous emergency braking, radar guided cruise control, and you can adjust the distance behind the vehicle in front of you. And lastly, you have an auto dimming revision mirror. And ahead of the driver, you have an analog gauge cluster with a digital display in the center showing information like fuel consumption, assistance menus. Again, a fairly basic layout. And moving on to the off-road features, you can control all of its functions with the dial down here, swapping it from two wheel drive low range, four wheel drive high range, and push down for four wheel drive low range. You'd also lock the rear differential, activate hill descent control, and for towing, you have an integrated brake controller on the right-hand side here. And lastly, moving on to practicality. So the doors themselves fit a big bottle of water with additional storage on the side. You have big chunky grab handles on the A-pillars. The center storage is pretty decent as well. You've also got two small cup holders for coffee cups and a spot down here for a mobile phone with an AC power outlet and two USB-A charging ports. You have a sunglasses holder on the top here, a dual glove box set up here, which is a pretty decent size in itself. And lastly, you have dual pop-out holders here, which you can either use as cup holders or ashtrays. Moving on to the back seats inside the MUX. So I'm a full-size adult. I've got this front seat set in my driving position, and I've still got good knee room, toe room, 
and really good headroom. And you can also recline the seat back, forwards. And in terms of other things, I see big, large grab handles to make it easy climbing into the car, mat pockets and little hook there, two USB-A charging ports and a spot here for a mobile phone as well as this fold-down armrest with two small cup holders. And you've also got large door bins that can fit a litre of water. And I've also got my own air conditioning to keep my rear passengers cool during summer. And the two outboard seats also have ISOFIX points. And you've also got three top tether points. Now to access the back seats, you just pull this lever down and fold this up. That gives you a nice passage entering the third row. And when you do eventually climb into the third row, as you can see, I've still got decent toe room, a little bit of leg room, and a little bit of head room. But as you can see, if you do recline the seat back, it does give you more space. So I've got more head room, knee room, just toe room still a little bit squishy. But if I did have to sit in the back here, I'd still be comfortable because you do have air conditioning vents on the top here. And on either side, there are two cup holders, additional storage slots. Let's now move on to the boot space. So the LSU grade comes standard with a power operated tailgate. You could also walk up to the car with the key in your pocket and the tailgate automatically opens for you as well. And once it's open, nice wide opening, plenty of space, 311 litres with the third row in place. You've got additional storage underneath the boot floor as well. And you can also drop the third row with these levers and that expands the space even more and the correct figures are on your screen. And to fold down the second row, you just climb across to the rear seats, pull the lever and again, expanding the space even more and the correct figures are on your screen. Let's now move on to the powertrain. So under the bonnet, this features a three litre inline four cylinder turbo diesel. It's paired to a six speed automatic gearbox. And as I mentioned, this is based on the Isuzu D-Max. So that means this is a body on frame vehicle which sits on a ladder frame chassis. And as a result, this seven seater four wheel drive is very off-road capable. And in terms of fuel consumption, Isuzu claims this will achieve 8.3 liters per 100, but we're gonna see the true result when we get it out on the road. So let's take it out for a drive. Okay, behind the wheel of the MUX, starting with parking. So in terms of visibility, good all round visibility, large wing mirrors and a decent rear window. It does have a good turning circle and that is easy to do. It does have a good turning circle and it does have light steering being electric. So it isn't difficult to drive and it doesn't feel like a big truck. As I mentioned, this is a body on frame vehicle, ute based. So this shares the same platform as the Isuzu D-Max. So it's not gonna be as refined as a Range Rover, for example, but this was set up to be more off-road capable, but the MUX doesn't feel industrial. It's still got good road manners. It's still comfortable around town. It does roll around a little bit, but it still soaks up the bumpy and broken roads of the Southern Highlands quite well. Out on the freeway, if you do need additional power, this four cylinder turbo diesel is quite responsive. And in terms of fuel consumption, the manufacturer's claim is 8.3 litres. Currently, I'm averaging nine litres per 100, which is a mixture of town and country driving, which I think is pretty good for a large seven seater off-road vehicle. So with my short driving impressions out of the way, let's now wrap up this video with a verdict. So what is my final verdict on the MUX? Well, considering this is a ladder frame chassis body on framed vehicle, it still does retain some good ride comfort for long distance journeys and it is off-road capable so fit for the purpose within cars in this segment so i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next film